All right, guys. Justin here, Dirt Time Adventures, out doing a little last minute video shooting. Got me a pile of cinder blocks. And today, I'm gonna to be shooting a video on cook craft and gonna be talking about what I call, <laughs> actually, I shouldn't even call it that. Uh, it's called the Morgart Backpacking Stove. And uh, it's a it's an instructor of mine named Michael Morgart. He designed this after looking at a lot of real elaborate looking uh, cinder block rocket stoves. And he simplified it and got it down from like 12 to 15 cinder blocks down to six. And so we're gonna build this over my camp. It's gonna get dark soon. And hopefully I can come up with enough light to make it happen. Gonna cook up some hot cocoa with the kids and probably gonna build a rabbit skewer and roast some rabbit over the fire tonight. So, should be fun, guys. All right, guys, we got the family out here. We got Caleb, Trini, Bailey, and we got Mrs. Dirt Time, <laughs> Miss Katie. And so, uh, all right, guys, tonight we're gonna build a rocket stove, the Morgart rocket stove and we're going to get a fire going and hopefully roast a rabbit. So this is what, what I need you guys to do. Is to go... roast Bailey? No, we're not gonna roast Bailey. <laughs> don't roast a rabbit. Yeah, we're gonna roast a rabbit. No, don't roast a rabbit. We're not, it's, it's a dead one, it's not the live one. <laughs> okay, yeah, it's, it's already dead. <laughs> okay? Um, oh, that's so, funny. No animals were hurt in the making of this video. Oh, they yes. were hurt before we made it. <laughs> <laughs> right, anyway, so if you guys will collect some little tender sticks that are about pencil size, then we'll have us some stuff to get our fire going, okay? Okay, I'll go around inside and get some pencils. No, <laughs> sticks. All right, come on, let's do this. Okay. All right, guys, come over here. So what we're looking for is down limbs, just like this, these down limbs, and you're wanting to take the little twigs off of them, but they don't snap when you break them, they're not dead enough, you want them to snap, Ow. and you're looking for stuff on the ground, uh, not on the ground, let me rephrase that, you want stuff that's broke off, but that's not laying on the ground, so this stuff on the ground, gonna be soaking wet. You want stuff that is elevated that's broken off. So this one right here is a perfect example. All these little sticks, all these little twigs break perfect. This is what we need right here. A little pencil size or less. Okay? Alright guys. While they're out collecting wood and some sticks, I'm gonna build this Morgart rocket stove for you real quick. And pretty much what you're gonna do, is you're gonna take one cinder block. We're building it here because we got our cooking, our cooking section right here, workstation here. The stove's gonna go right here. So you got a back piece, and that's pretty much just for support right here, okay? And that's going to support your back one. You need this center area here is going to be the actual cook stove area. Okay? So that one goes there. Put one on this side. And you want to try to get these as flat as possible and as tight as possible. And so these inner walls are flat, facing each other. Okay, guys? And that's three blocks. Fourth block is gonna be our center block. And this is where, that's where the fire is gonna shoot up through it. Okay? So that's four center blocks. Five cinder blocks will come up here and lay flat there. 
Now you got some gaps here. As you're checking it, you, we realize we need to switch that block out. So we'll try this one. Okay, set that on top. A little bit better still there, so that's good. All right. And so we got one, two, three, four, five on the back. The last one goes right there. You block off the sides and that gives you some shelves. You can feed the fire through here and it's going to be blocked off right here. And that's the Morgart hey, rocket stove. Hey, Daddy, you want to stay by the fire. Well, we got to get one going. All right, guys. Well, we lost light this winter time coming up on the winter solstice here in three or four weeks. Just losing light every night. And so, um, but pretty much got the uh, Morgart stove built. Hopefully, you've seen most of that. Um, I'll take a picture of it in the daylight so you can see the full thing of it. And, Probably you'll see more of it in my videos as well. But it's pretty much six blocks, two on each side, a back one in the, for the base, one running across the top, one on the very top, and this one right here is your feeder entrance. And you know, one thing I might do differently is if I had a block that was flat, flat right here, I think that would be um, a better setup. So. All right, I think we're about ready to get it going and boil some water. All right, buddy, what are you working on over here? Our teepee. Our teepee, like a shelter or what? No, a fire. Our fire teepee. All right, and what is our fire teepee made up of? Um, let's see, it's made out of, up out of the king um, fire, which what? means kindle, tindling, um, daddy and fuel, right? Fuel, yeah. Tender, kindling, and fuel. That's right. But that's only three letters. Yeah, and Trini's over here working on our Morgart stove. And be sure to keep feeding that fire. It's going to burn out. You can feed it from the top or from the bottom. How like I said, it makes up six blocks. How from the bottom? Two on each side, one in the front, one on top, and two on the back. One of them on the back is faced inward. It's a little blurry, guys, getting darker. But got Katie over there feeding the, the Morgart f stove and got some hot coffee going. You can feed it from the bottom, babe. That hole on this side. Push it all the way in. We're going to come over here and get ready to try to make a rabbit skewer. All right, guys. Recording at night's not the easiest. But what I've done here is I've taken a Y, that way I can hammer this part and there's a Y that's going to catch my skewer going to point off the end and here on this area I'm going to butt off I'm going to just kind of mushroom it off and that's going to help it or I'm going to taper it off it's going to help it from mushrooming off put Bailey on the chain Alright, so mushroom or taper that end off, and we're just going to begin. Get it going here. I'm going to go ahead and switch knees. I can lock my blade against this knee and pull back with it. Okay, also I can do some chopping with it. Looks like a cucumber. Cucumber. Daddy, what are you doing? 
making a skewer. This is actually going to be the stand for the skewer. Alright, once you get that starting to take shape, just start shaping it again. Rounding it off. See if that'll how well that'll drive. Here in Arkansas, we got some rocky oh, Daddy, ground. Daddy, we can hey, move that. We can shred a lot of band over it, and then we can shoot it. I think that'll work. So let's move it over here to the fire cooking stove. So do we need two of them? This is just the base. Hey, Daddy, that looks like a shooter thing. Can you try? Yeah. And if you didn't have an axe, you could always use another stick for a baton. Or a rock. Rocks or sticks work. Alright, so that's that. Alright, guys. Got the uh, stand in place, now time for the skewer. Um, sawed off both ends, the play piece that I think I'm going to need the link for. And now it's just a matter of shaving it off. So we're going to put the meat on. You ain't got to debark the whole thing. Just got to debark the areas that the meat's going to be cooking on. Because bark has tannic acids in them that really are hard to digest for humans. Got Mrs. Dirt Time over there getting some hot cocoa together. Caleb, what are you working on? Um, feed the fire. Good job. Feed that fire. So the old uh, Rat 5 Rat 5 by Ontario, working pretty good so far, guys. I think we're ready to cook, man. Yeah. All right, so they got the water boiled on the uh, Morgart stove. Getting ready to make some hot cocoa. Trini, you ready for some hot cocoa? Uh -huh. You got your cup ready? Uh -huh. Mom's going to mix two packets in there and split it up. Awesome. Was there enough water in there to boil four cups or just the two? There's still more in there. Cool. So we should be able to get by with just the one pot of water. Mm-mm-mm. How's it taste, sister? Good. Is it good? Is it hot? Yep. <laughs> yep. <laughs> All right. That's good. All right, Kate, you going to run in and get the rabbit? Yep. Okay. All right, guys, got the skewer all set up. Step back this tad bit. Got my Y stick. Run it out there. And got it tied off there. Going to get a rabbit put on it and get to cooking. Tastes good once we cook it. Yeah, it actually looks nice. But it looks nasty right now. Looks nasty right now, huh? Yeah. Here's just something to keep in mind is before you stake it down, put your actually meat on there. Make it a lot easier. The rose is fairy and hairy.
All right, got the the rabbit on the skewer, guys. Caleb and Trini over there sipping on some hot cocoa and whittling some sticks for uh, marshmallows. I'm gonna use some Tony Saturies. Put that bad boy all over it. Whew! May have been a little overkill. Mm mm mm. Look at that meat. Looks like it still has some fat on it. Rabbits, babies. <laughs> Trini, you excited to eat some rabbit? How's that hot cocoa, babe? Still stirring it. Still stirring, man. I think it's like the fifth or sixth glass some of these kids have had. No, I only had one. Trini has had one. Caleb, hold the lamp up to your face, son. Um, there you go. But yeah, we're getting some rabbit, um, eating some marshmallows, getting some hot cocoa, made us stoves. So let me ask you guys, would you rather be inside watching TV or out here doing some dirt time adventures? I'd rather Both. be doing dirt. Both. You want to put a TV out here? Yeah, that would actually make it pretty good. If you, well, since you got a bed here and you could put a TV behind you, um, I think you would... Yeah, but if you had to have a choice between a TV and video games or coming out and spending some awesome time with your family outdoors, what would you rather do? Dirt Time Adventures. Dirt Time Adventures. And then just lift it up some. Duh. I like wow. Bailey, me, and my mom. That's Lyman. And the boys, I mean Daddy. Hot cocoa and marshmallows. All right, guys. Went ahead and moved the crate over here so I had a working surface. But he is all cooked up, man. Daddy, I'm telling you. That is some juicy meat. I want it. You want it, huh? I want a leg. You I want, want a leg? All of it. You want all of it, huh? Mm -hmm. uh, trying to get her, that's too big of a push. Oh, knife just went right through it. Katie, can you hold it somewhat for me? You cut it. Yeah, I mean, just some juicy, what? succulent meat, man. I want it. Mmm. I want to eat stuff. it. I want to eat it. I want to eat it. Let's have mommy have it. She hasn't had a good piece yet. We were hunting wabbits. Hunting wabbits. And and cooking wabbits. Yeah. All right, guys. Rabbit leg. A leg. Chicken leg. Da, da, da. Oh, yeah. Yummy. We hunted wabbits over 25 years. We Indian. All right, guys. I've never really ate rotisserie rabbit. But I got to tell you, guys, this is some great eating. Just like chicken. Wow. Oh. Smells like something. Like Tony Satchery's. Mm. Oh, that's good stuff, guys. Mm. You know you want some. Come through the camera and get some. <laughs> well, guys, we want to thank you for joining our family out here at a nighttime dirt time adventure. We're having a blast. I want to just throw a shout out to a lot of the amazing bushcrafters out there that have come with me along the ways and man, I, I envy them a lot of times, especially some of those solo guys that are out just living it all by themselves and immersed in it. But then I think about my family and I wouldn't trade them for the world. So uh, I encourage you other guys out there that have family, man, get your kids out there, get your wife out there. Even if she don't like the outdoors, you can always get everything set up before she gets out there and make it as comfortable as you can and cook her up a nice meal, man. You won't go wrong. So, once again, this is Justin, Trinity, Caleb, and Mrs. Dirt Time Katie. And uh, we want to encourage you guys to share and subscribe our videos. And be sure to get on our Facebook page, facebook.com slash Dirt Time Adventures. All right, guys. You got anything else to say, guys? Eat this chicken. It's not chicken. It's <laughs> rabbit.
Miss Big Time. Grab it. It's like chicken. She's stuffing her face, so she's not talking. Trini, you got anything to say? Everybody, you gotta it come out and do grab it. It tastes like chicken. <laughs> it tastes like chicken, huh? All right, guys. Got time adventures. God bless.